and good morning from day, technically day four, Sunday of Dragon Con. I was out very late last night and I'm tired and I'm up early. Well, early-ish, it's almost 11. Um, I need food and coffee. So I think we're gonna try to acquire those things. All right, another day at Dragon Con. Let's go. I should have known that the coffee line was already going to be really long. The Caribou Coffee I decided to swing by has extended con hours. That is good to know. So I went to Caribou to get some coffee and I guess my order had gotten skipped over so I had to wait almost 20 minutes. Uh, and then I decided to speak up. I was like, hey, excuse me. Uh, I didn't have my, I hadn't, I think my order got skipped. Uh, and they were, like, they were super cool about it. They were like, oh, we're so sorry. And then one of the dudes gave me a free bagel. He said it for my trouble, but it was really busy. And it was completely understandable that they were probably going to overlook an order or two. Um, but I thought it was really super cool of the dude to hook me up with this bagel. So shout out to the dude at Caribou for being awesome. Oh, God. Heather, Heather, watch out. Heather. Tyler. Heather, watch out. Oh no. No. Oh no. Oh no. Heather. Well, <laughs> okay. Heather had a good run. <laughs> My friend Heather is on a mission to find a certain booth. Oh, she found him. Mission accomplished. Heather, what'd you get? Okay, wait a minute. Just give me a second. I love you. Nope. Got you right now. Okay. I got from my favorite vampire, bloody hell. <laughs> okay. And then from my and Tyler's room, I love you. I know. Nice. And then, hang on. Okay, this is my favorite. It's a dark. It's a red lightsaber. It says. Come to the dark side, and then there's a cookie jar. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Nerd. Nerd. <laughs> On the fourth floor of the America's Mart, they have the comic and pop artist alley. So I think we're going to walk around and see what kind of really cool art we can find. Pretty cool looking Optimus Prime. Hold on. All right, well I made my first art purchase of the weekend. I couldn't say no to this Optimus Prime print. Man, look how savage he looks. Just ripping Megatron's head off. I also lost Heather and Tyler, so they're over there. Stopped off at the booth by this artist, Sean Durrington, and I ended up getting a few prints Hold on, I have to get situated, and then I'll show you what I got. All right, I got myself situated. I got this Mickey Mouse Baymax. I got this Mickey Mouse Stormtrooper. And I got this Mickey Mouse BB-8. Three prints for $10 from Sean Durrington. I'm sharing an elevator with Thor. Good day, citizen. <laughs> I'm using this strange electronic device <laughs> versus flying. They tell me it's more convenient. <laughs> and while I'm surrounded by many new friends, <laughs> I still find riding the Norse winds to be the best way to travel. <laughs> you know what, same. <laughs> Come drink with me. All right, let's go. Right here, there's a sign set up right above a table that says, play chess with the Jawa. I wonder who's winning. We decided to stop off at the Hard Rock Cafe for some lunch, and uh, we picked up a couple more stragglers. So, but uh, I think Tyler's all this... washing his hands. We... How dare he leave? He's a ghost now. Uh, if only we knew somebody who could investigate. His non-presence? Who do we know? Oh no, there he is! Oh wait, hold on. Oh, Tyler, thank God. We made it. <laughs> we thought you were dead. 
We have some Toy Story characters. We have Woody, Zerg, and Buzz right over here. A little bit more of the gritty variety right over here. I absolutely love the Disney Princess Jedi mashup that's going on right here. Uh, also, I love the three-prong Jedi. That looks, that is amazing. Excellent, well done, thank you. Thank you all very much. Oh my God, oh my God, what's, hap what's happening? Wait, did he jump from up here and just get you? Oh my God. All right, the three amigos are here. This is amazing. Wait, hold on. I know you from somewhere. <laughs> so, anyway, thank you guys for stopping and being in the vlog. I appreciate it. So flash forward from a few hours ago, uh, I went to see some panels from my friends and now that night is upon us, uh, I'm gonna head to the Hilton because a buddy of mine and I have a new tradition that we started last year where we get our photo taken in the TARDIS. Uh, so we're gonna do that. So this is year two. So meet my buddy Joe. Let's, uh, let's go have an adventure in time and space. That's a pretty solid move. I'm almost gonna call it a night, but I saw one costume co cosplay here that I had to get in on. Yeah, Mr. Mr. Sean Connery. Yes. And Mr. Turd Ferguson. Yeah. It's a nice hat. Really good to see. Yeah. I am. I agree. That's what your mother said. <laughs> so for, uh, give me. Uh, 300, uh, who is Andre the Giant? I'm saying what now? Who is Andre Giant? Okay. I don't remember this joke, I'm sorry. He's a giant, and his name is uh, Andre. Okay, right. I don't know if I got a shot of it yet, but this is the view of downtown Atlanta from my hotel room at night. The city looks really beautiful, all lit up, I must say. The next day. Hello and good morning, and welcome to the final day of DragonCon 2019. I have been attempting to shop in the vendor space once each day, and every day I keep getting pulled out of the vendor shop from for one reason or another. But hopefully I can walk around for at least an hour and get some shots of some of the stuff that they have for sale there. There was a shirt that I saw that I wanted to get. But hopefully uh, I can get done with three floors of vendor space within an hour because I have to check out of my hotel in about two hours. So we'll see how this goes. All right, let's go. Stopped off at a booth for Ripley's Believe It or Not, and they brought some movie props with them. Uh, the gentleman was telling me that these are actual screen-used props. There is a Luke Skywalker's lightsaber, which is my favorite lightsaber from the original trilogy. 
Graflex camera. It looks like the little attachment right here where the flash is, is what was used to make Luke Skywalker's lightsaber. There's also a pair of self-tying Nikes and a hoverboard straight from the year 2015. What a time to be alive. The future. A couple of shrunken heads. <laughs> dinosaur claw. Or I'm sorry, a dinosaur egg and an Allosaurus claw. Indiana Jones's Bullwhip, another one of my favorite film franchises. Right there. Well, a lot of good this is gonna do me in the daylight. Gross. Two-headed calf skull. Ugh. They also brought an entire Iron Maiden. Run for those hills. I'm not too sure how much I believe that that was the actual screen used lightsaber. I think I just found the booth area for the day of Steve. He would have a field day right in these quarters. All right, Steve, you gotta come to Dragon Con. I just had to stop myself from buying another t-shirt. I've already bought two t-shirts this weekend. Do I want another shirt? Yeah, do I need it? The Ultra Sabers have a booth here, and there are tons of stunning lightsabers. However, with as tempted as I am, I'm still waiting to build my lightsaber whenever I go to Galaxy's Edge in a few months. Stopped in at this booth called Darwin and Wallace, a nature and fossil store, and it has a ton of really cool fossils curiosities and exoskeletons from a, and endoskeletons from a lot of uh, creepy crawlies I like this pebble crab right here Ooh, look at those arms what's this a giant isopod for $140, you can get yourself a bless box skull. But perhaps you're in more of a shrunken head market for your shrunken head collection. God, they have so much amazing stuff here. I kind of want to get something and take it. Mega tooth from a shark. 500 big ones. An alligator jaw right in the background. The rarest fossil of all. Indiana Jones action figures. Check out that praying mantis. curled up skeleton of a white-lipped pit viper and it looks like it's ready to strike. There's a few small jars with baby octopi in there. Some of that stuff looks pretty cool but I don't think Chelsea Gasly would appreciate me bringing half of that stuff home. Okay, a little bit of an abrupt cut there, um, but 
after that last clip, I had to go check out of my hotel room, and then I had to go get my last panel. After that, uh, packed up the car and decided to head home. So I was I was kind of conned out by by midnight on Sunday. Uh, again, first time going from Thursday to Monday. So I was kind of running on fumes, especially after that late night Saturday. Uh, but I already have my room booked for Dragon Con next year. It is going to be so much fun. I'm very much looking forward to it. As always, it's, it's a great time. Had so much fun hanging out with my friends. Had so much uh, fun making new friends. Uh, and I look forward to, to Dragon Con 2020. But as always, thank you so much for watching the videos. Uh, it really does mean a lot to me that you take time out of your day to watch the 10, 15, 20 minute videos I put up here every week or every other week or whenever I can get to them. So uh, it really does mean a lot to me and thank you. So if you like the video, please go ahead and click that thumbs up icon. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. Again, I have a lot of fun stuff in store. It's haunt season, it's Halloween season. We're gonna do a lot of fun stuff around Atlanta. So until next time, we'll see you real soon. And stay spooky.